State Representative Russ Diamond here. Today we're taking a look at another one of Lebanon County's hidden gems. We're at the Union Canal Tunnel Park, uh, which is a property of the Lebanon County Historical Society. I am joined today by Ed Daniels, who's pres president and uh, chairman of the board of the Lebanon County Historical Society. And we're standing in front of the Crawl Barn. Ed, thank you so much for joining us today. No problem. Uh, tell me a little bit about the Crawl Barn. What's the Crawl Barn doing here? Where did it come from? What's the history behind it? Okay. The Crawl Barn came from Schaeferstown. It was torn down in, uh, in 2007, and we've had it in storage until we started resurrecting it now. Uh, the barn is 1796. Uh, it's a log barn inside, and it has what they call double cribs, which kind of makes it unusual. It's one of the last ones in Lebanon County. So we thought it was important to try to preserve it and okay. restore it and, and put it on some site. And since we had the ground here, we decided to you know, to put it here. Right. Decided, and, and since we had the property and uh, it was given to us as well. Right. So, so you basically took this apart piece by piece, yes. stored it. Yes. Now you brought it back here yes. with a little work in between. Now you're putting the puzzle back together, right. right? Exactly. Now, tell us a little bit about the difficulties of reconstructing a building like this in modern days. The problem is, is because of the age of the building being over 200 years old, they just weren't sure of the structural strength of the, the beams, mm -hmm. the roof rafters, and everything else. So we had to kind of build a barn around a barn. Is what a we barn around a barn. Part. And so inside, everything is original as far as upstairs where all the logs and the cribs are at. And then we had to do some extra work in the basement uh, to put some posts in that weren't there. The summer beam is original and most mm -hmm. of the floor joists are original. Some of them had to be cut out because the ends were rotten, so uh -huh. we pieced some into them. But they came from an old barn, though, too. Right. So it's from some place else here in Lebanon County. Yeah. Where we got the things. Okay. So that uh, basically what happened there was uh, just trying to do all that, and then plus we had to the structural engineer made us do a lot of things that we weren't aware of when we decided, took this project. Okay. On. Okay. And I think it's like any other project. You know, you think it's going to be this much, and it ends up being this much well, just because. I, I know that from renovating my <laughs> yeah. home, and I kind of did the same thing. I built a new house inside an old house. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, and it, every every turn you take, yeah. there's like, oh, surprise! Here's this little problem that you got to work around. So, I imagine you, you yeah. came up with a lot it, of those. It did, and then the weather's been a real deterrent. This Absolutely, 2018 has been horrible for weather, so I can't imagine the impact it's had yeah, on your you're construction. Trying to keep, you know, getting the contractors here, and then they have to keep working too. Right, you know, so, right. And then they had to come back, and then work for a while, and then come back. Yeah, so it, it's been slowing the process down, but we think we'll have it closed up here by the the end of October. The end of October, well, okay. As far as closed up, okay. Now the inside, what we're in the process now is is uh, we're working on a fundraising campaign, okay, to try to get enough money that we can do the inside on what needs to okay. be done there. We don't have the money for that, so okay. we don't have a capital campaign. It's an ongoing going. program, yeah. right? <laughs> we have a capital campaign, we have a chairman on that thing, and uh, we have people that are working on trying to get that kicked off okay. so we can get the money to finish the downstairs. Because what we want to do is we want to make this a educational room is what we want. Okay. To. And hopefully what we're going to try to do is there's some people around that have made models of regular canal boats. Okay. But we want to put them maybe on the wall. I don't want them sitting around on right, the floor right. in case we want to rent the thing out for like a social event. Or okay. Like the YMCA wants to have a, something here and they want okay. to rent this out. Right. So you don't want all those things sitting around on yeah. the floor. So we have a guy that we're going to be talking to about making models of the old canal boats. Okay. And other things, maybe a scene inside painted where, you know, showed how the canal boats went. Right. Where it ran from all the way from the Schuylkill River to the Susquehanna yeah. River. And all those are things that we're working on right now. We don't have that all finalized. Right. But that's kind of what we're going to do inside. So it'll be an educational center downstairs, but also we want to rent it out. Right. So, so you're building a, you're installing a kitchen down yes. here. You've got an office, you've got restrooms, yes. uh, that sort of thing. So, so this is going to be uh, perhaps an event location. Exactly right. Okay. And, and another way for us to make some money. Okay. And it's a way for, because we're a nonprofit organization. Right. And so, so we can have some income coming in to maintain this place. Right. And uh, so that's what we want to do is run it out for events. And okay. We've already had a couple of people inquiring, well, when do you think you're going to have it done and things like that? Well, you know, <laughs> hold on. It will be right. one of these days. We just got to wait till we get all the money. Right, right, right. So anyhow, that's that's kind of where we're at on that. Uh, mainly the office is just going to have the, the two bathrooms and little office area there right. and stuff like that. And storage up above on the roof there a little bit. We've got some storage. On the second floor up in the four bay end, mainly what we're going to do up there is uh, we have a couple pieces of farm implements that were made in Lebanon County. If, if, okay. if they aren't from Lebanon County, 
they aren't going to be in there. Right. We've tried to, okay. We've, we've kind of taken a position at the Historical Society that if anything we've got in there, it's got to come from Lebanon or it's okay. got to be associated with someone from okay. Lebanon, you know, okay. like some military things. Yeah. They, they weren't made here, but they were right, represented right, by right. someone who was in the military during World War One, World War Two, Vietnam, whatever. So that's what we've kind of done is we want to present everything that's Lebanon County, okay. whether it came from the city of Lebanon, came from Jonestown, came from Fredericksburg, right. came from Myerstown, Palmyra, you know, as long as it came from the county. Yeah. So uh, up, upstairs on the second level there, is that going to be just a, a big open space? Yeah. Is, is that you'll what you're looking at? You'll be able to walk in there and see the beams. Cause that's, okay, great. That's what we that, want to do. Exactly. Is, is be able to see all the beams and to see the roof rafters, right. just like the barn. It looks original to what it would have looked like okay. 200 years ago okay. once you walk inside down. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. All right, so this is going to accommodate all the things you do along the canal, which runs behind here. I yes. mean, it's still part of the original canal that oh, runs sure behind is. here. Yes. So, so it's a great, a great center for a study of canal times, yeah. everything Lebanon County, and everything Lebanon County Historical Society. Yeah, because we want we want to do something with trying to preserve, you know, because that canal was one of the main reasons that Lebanon boomed. Absolutely. Because of how it transported yeah. things, you know, yeah. from one end of the Schuylkill to the Susquehanna, yeah. you know, whether it was grain or whether it was chickens, whatever it was that yeah. was being transported, that's how it got done. Yeah. You know, even coal, everything else that came down, you know, from the pine grove section of it, mm -hmm. it came down. So those are all the things that went on. So it's, yeah. it was part of our heritage as far as Absolutely. building this county and very important part. I mean, they even talk about that they even shipped uh, uh, Miller's organs. Oh no, kid! On the canal, you know, to wow. run them to Harrisburg or run them to Philadelphia to work oh, right the way on. down. So you know, it was used for that too. Yeah. So there was a lot of things that got, plus iron ore and everything mm -hmm, else mm -hmm. that we had. That were yeah, famous. well, the canals were what uh, America First was built on. So it was, yeah. uh, thank you so much, Ed, for your time. Good luck with your project. <laughs> I hope it comes out the way you want it to. Sure I do. <laughs> I know these construction projects can get a little, uh, you know, hair raising yeah. at times, but I'm sure it's going to come out very beautifully. And uh, thank you so much for the work you do. Uh, God you, bless you. Appreciate and uh, that's it from Union Canal Tunnel Park in North Lebanon Township. Uh, this is right at the corner of Union Canal Drive and 25th Street. Come on out and see the Crawl Barn, one of Lebanon County's hidden gems.